Okay, it might be good if you guys kick things off by um, just introducing who you are. Hi everyone, um, we're from Reef House Haven. My name's Jessica Berg and I am the Community Investment Coordinator and Project Administration. And my name is Daniel Jones and I look after our community projects team. So all of the editing with sites and technical and kind of financial modeling stuff. Fabulous. So I understand today is a bit of a special day in the Repower Shoalhaven um, calendar. What's, what's, what, what have you been doing today? What, what's happening? Later? Yeah, it's a, it's a big day for us. Um, it's our annual AGM, annual general meeting. Um, we have to hold one for Repower Shoalhaven and then a separate one for each of our SPVs. Um, so that equals five in total for tonight. Um, and each new project that comes along, we'll have to add another one. So all in the one day at the moment, but we'll see when it comes next year. <laughs> That's amazing. So you you say five, and I guess that doesn't count. So that counts Repower Shoalhaven the Association plus four SPVs, but it doesn't count Repower Five, but they haven't been around for a year, so you haven't had to have your AGM yet. That's right. It's only about a week old. Um, okay. So our end of the financial year is June twenty six, uh, June thirty. So we do each. One for that. Great. So it's a bit of a challenge. You've got this growing number of SPVs and how do you make sure um, that you're running an efficient operation? Um, how do you manage to do five AGMs all in a row? Uh, and I understand you're doing that all tonight, right? It's called the Jessica Berg. And, um, <laughs> exhibit A right here. Um, it's, it's a lot of planning um, and having that knowledge of what needs to be done, I guess, and knowing what steps you need to take, um, ensure that you, you meet your deadline in time. So a lot of checklists, you know, weekly, quarterly, monthly, um, that needs to be followed. And to make sure, I guess, all parties are communicating, you, you know, we have our committee members and, you know, Daniel and myself and our accountant and just making sure that everyone's doing their bit um, and then you, you know, get to the end in time and it all hopefully runs smoothly. <laughs> Great. So it's really just like bare bones. Um, what, uh, how do you how do you actually practically manage that during the meeting? Is is someone typing? Are you keep taking notes on paper? Or are you perhaps using butcher's paper or whiteboard to take the minutes? How, how does that work? There's a lot of paperwork to prep. Um, we take you know all of our minutes from the last meetings and our agendas and directors' reports, um, and we have different speakers at the time for the treasury, the, the, the chairperson. Um, and then we have our secretary who takes the minutes by hand and then taps them when he gets home, sends them to review. Um, and it's pretty much just each of us doing our, our speaking questions um, and election and then close. There's no really physical, you know, we don't have to write anything up unless it came to a point of a discussion. Um, so previous AGM, we had our accountant here to discuss a potential change. So he had the floor and had a discussion and took questions. Am I right in thinking you hold these AGMs sequentially, one after the other? You don't attempt to mingle them together with each other. That'd be a bit impractical, I suppose. No, no, we hold them one after the other, Repower Shellhaven first, and we make that aware in our communications that um, it, each one is following after the other one. Um, we have a set time delegated um, that we estimate, and if we don't, if we are running, you know, late, we'll just apologise and... Um, but I really like the film Inception. So if you can teach us a way of running all of them at the same time, that would be <laughs> Yeah, no, I can't figure it out. One thing that I've, one thing that I've been <laughs> dabbling with is, is doing an AGM on a page. So we, we did this with, um, with Community Power Agency's AGM, uh, the most recent one. And we have yeah. the, uh, the agenda. Um, on a big bit of butcher's paper and then we take the minutes on the butcher's paper and there's a bit of transcription required later but it's all it's all there and we did I think we did our AGM in like 14 minutes or something so you can do it pretty quickly how long are you guys taking to your, do your AGMs? Um, I'd say around I'd say around 20 20 minutes. That's um, unbelievably quick. <laughs> um, you know there's a lot of content in our director's reports um, letting you know how you know the, what has happened but there's no really issues that come up that involves a lot of discussion. Um, there's just been reporting back and electing committee. And yeah. there's not much else that needs to be done really, Great. unless you came up, which it hasn't yet. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, we'll just make sure that we beat you, Tom. 16, was it 14 we'll minutes? We'll let you know. 13 minutes tonight. The gauntlet. 
<laughs> so uh, yeah, it's not. It's just the, it's just our co-op for, for <laughs> the work that we do. So it might be a bit simpler. Um, I got a technical question. So um, obviously, each one of these SPVs is is a separate pro proprietary company, a PTY Ltd company, mm -hmm. um, and they're genuinely independent entities. It's not like Repower Shoalhaven the Association owns those companies or anything. Um, just how independent are they as organisations, and how does that how does that work in a practical sense? Yeah, so um, we when we create the project, we um, sign an operators agreement with the SPV company and Repartial Haven, which gives us the the responsibility of, of running the company for them on behalf of them. Um, the we have one director of the company from the Repartial Haven committee, and one investor director. Now, the investor director has their own rights within the company. The director from Repower Shaven Committee has um, no voting rights. Oh, sorry, no financial right, just a voting right. Um, and if that person leaves the Repower Shaven Committee, we will, they will resign from the company and we will replace that. And the same as the investor, if they leave, we will replace them as director. Sure. That, um, that operator's agreement allows the relationship between the company and Repower, the which is an association, to be um, really clearly spelt out, but also changed to someone else. So Repower Shoalhaven doesn't need to be the operator for that proprietary limited company. They could, they if, could Re fire us. if Repower doesn't exist or if they don't like us, whatever, they could say we're going to get someone else to do all the things that you do and they can just go off and operate the project on their own. So in a, yeah, in a, in a sort of governance sense, in a, in a very real power sense, the, 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 those, those SPVs are very independent entities. They, they have their own will and they can potentially choose that they, like as you just put it, they didn't want to be serviced by the association anymore. Absolutely. Yeah. So I guess that puts um, a real focus on making sure that you are working closely with them and delivering what it is that they need as an organisation. That's right. Yeah. 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 Cool. Um, so you guys have been spending all day on this today and, and it's what, 5.30 now and, and you just told me before we started the meeting you're probably going to be running through to 8 o'clock. Are, are you being paid for this work? Um, yeah, so... Uh, Jess and I both are paid by Repower. We both operate in a professional and a volunteer capacity um, at the moment. Um, so, but I guess it, and that's all um, different responsibilities, I guess, are paid for. And then some are just part of our volunteer, loving being part of community energy. Um, so. But together we form a equivalent of one full-time worker, um, which is really great that a community group can facilitate that, which I think yeah. is, yeah. So I've been, I was doing site liaison stuff and I met with a site today and I've been creating proposals. So I was getting paid then, but then like all of tonight, just at this meeting, is just a repound member sort of thing. So not part of work. But that, like, that's just one example for today. Yeah, all the same. Um, I think it's really, I think it's really impressive and inspirational to other organisations that how many, I mean, you've got Repower 5 now, how many actual sort of sites or projects have you, have you got up now? So we've got 16, well, we've done 17 installations, yep. 16 of them community funded through five different um, community uh, proprietary limited companies. Yeah. yeah, and I think it's, 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 it's impressive that that's gotten you guys to a point where you can pay for one full-time equivalent to do, to do what it is that you do. And, and, I, and I assume as well that in the future, there'll be more staff coming on as, as your needs grow. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, more hands the better. If we, um, yeah, we're really keen to get someone in the social media space. And um, as, like, sorry, I'm not advertising. <laughs> But, um, for it, yeah. <laughs> um, we, yeah, as much as like in terms of principle, yeah, we really want repowder to become something that can self-sustain um, so that we can keep this work going. So um, that's, yeah, the goal is that it's like financially sustainable. So. Great. Well, the plan is to show this video during the webinar that's happening on, on Tuesday. It's, um, it's, uh, it's Thursday today, just before that, that webinar. Um, and, and clearly there's going to be a lot of people there who are from communities who are thinking about doing investment-based projects. Um, what, um, what advice would you give to these groups if they're considering, if they're considering adopting the Repower Shoalhaven model? That's a good question. Um, I'd say to be really organised. Um, you really need to have that good backbone um, for your group to get things you know, done. I, I think sometimes you underestimate how, many, how much 
paperwork is involved as well. Um, and yeah, so just to, to know what you need to do, which is, you know, people say that all the time. Um, but I think if you have that knowledge and those deadlines in place, you can, you know, see what you need to get there at the end, so. And I think like, um, I've spoken to a few different groups at different stages. There's a lot of different models out there. So it's really good to go, okay, what's the best one for us? But not to get, you know, seeing some groups spend heaps of money on that, that piloting phase. And you really want to get to a project as quickly as you can. Um, and that, and Repower through um, Chris Cooper when, started, when it got started, that's a real strength of what he was trying to do is really that entrepreneurial spirit to look into things, but then really kind of get it going. And um, so I definitely recommend try and get something, um, yeah, try and get out there and learn what, whatever your, whatever part of the um, market you're trying to service, try and understand them and get something to them as quick as you can. And um, I guess something just quickly that we've been trying to work on, it's kind of like a service model where we can be a bolt on for community energy groups to do the legals and the financial and technical modeling if they need, whatever part of that they need so that they can do the investment, the community side, and also engaging with local sites where they, where they are. And then we can just kind of do the back end. So there's, and I think there's a few other groups that are offering things like that as well. So yeah, look around, but try and try and just get some rungs on the board as quick as you can. Yeah. Fabulous. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much. And um, we look forward to hearing more about your ongoing success. No worries. Thanks for having us. And um, thanks for doing these webinars. They're really, really you know, useful. And thanks, good Tom. to get the word out there. Go CPA. We loved the Congress this year. It was absolutely Ooh. awesome. Still, <laughs> still feeling the energy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great. <laughs> thanks, <guys. laughs> All right. That's awesome.